In this video we will review a telescope S V Boney 503 and basic setup for deep sky astrophotography. The telescope is manufactured by the Chinese company S V Boney, based in Hong Kong. It is an apochromatic doublet refractor with aperture diameter of 80 mm and a focal length of 560 mm, which means that focal ratio is f7, enough for deep sky astrophotography. This telescope is mechanically very well made, with optic ed glass, SFBL51, and SMC, super multi-coated, optics that produce very beautiful and clear images. It has 1.5 arc second resolution. Light gathering capacity is 130 times more than human eyes. An apochromatic refractor, often referred to as an oppo refractor or oppo telescope, is a type of optical instrument used in astronomy and photography. It is a specific design of a refracting telescope that aims to correct chromatic aberration to a high degree. A refracting telescope, also known as a refractor, uses lenses to bend and focus light. It consists of at least two lenses, an objective lens at the front that gathers and focuses light, and an eyepiece lens at the back that magnifies the image formed by the objective lens. Chromatic aberration is an optical phenomenon where different colors of light are focused at slightly different points due to the varying wavelengths of light. This can result in color fringing and reduced image quality, particularly in telescopes and lenses that use single lenses or simple lens combinations. The prefix oppo in apochromatic indicates correction. An apochromatic refractor is designed to correct not only the common type of chromatic aberration, known as secondary spectrum, but also other aberrations like coma and spherical aberration. This correction is achieved through the use of specially designed lens elements made from different types of glass and careful lens arrangement. In an apochromatic refractor, multiple lens elements of different glass types are used to bring different wavelengths of light to a common focus. This results in significantly reduced chromatic aberration and improved color correction compared to traditional achromatic refractors. Oppo refractors are highly regarded for their ability to provide high contrast, sharp, and color accurate images, making them popular choices for astrophotography and visual observation of celestial objects. The optical tube is made from aluminum by CNC machine technology. Tube weight without the red handle is 3.95 kilograms. Do shields essentially extend the tube of the telescope from 460 mm to 560 mm. This protects the optical surface from the cool ambient air and helps against light polluted areas. The telescope SV Boney has well made double speed rack and pinion focuser, which allows fine focus adjustment of the objects. Movement is smooth and easy. The focus tube is marked so you can easily return focus at another setting. The length of back focus is 90 mm to reach the focus in different setup. Another good thing is that you can rotate the foxer in 380 degrees by unscrewing the knob. The telescope is compatible with all 1.25 inch and 2 inch accessories. It comes with 1.25 inch to 2 inch adapter. A telescope field flattener is an optical device or accessory used in some telescopes to correct for field curvature. Field curvature is a common optical aberration in many optical systems, including telescopes, which causes the image to be out of focus toward the edges of the field of view. Field flatteners are typically used in telescopes that have fast focal ratios, such as those used for astrophotography or wide field observations. The SV Boney Field Flattener and Reducer for Telescope is 2 inch and has 55 mm back focus. The standard for camera mount is M48, 0.75. The optics is fully multi-coated and it has three elements in two groups. Weight is 164 grams. 
If you want to take beautiful pictures of deep sky objects that emit in certain wavelengths such as the nebulae composed of hydrogen or oxygen, sulfur, etc. you will need a filter passing exactly these parts of the light spectrum. Such filters suppress light pollution from cities, making astrophotography possible even from large cities. Such a filter is available from this brand. This is the double band filter, which we will review in future episodes. The camera, in this case DSLR, in fact is the second most important component for astrophotography. It is attached to the telescope or to the field corrector with a T-ring. There are different T-rings depending on the DSLR camera model to which the telescope will be attached. For precise deep sky images, we use auto-guiding that the mount can track stars more accurate. For that additional setup we use camera SV Boney 305, that is optional in guide scope with aperture 30mm and 120mm focal length also from SV Boney, that's as attached to the scope by this beautiful red handlebar. This setup is suitable for astrophotographers with a balance between a lower budget and very good quality. Here are some pictures taken with this setup showing some of its capabilities. Stay tuned for more reviews, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website for more info and images. Thank you for watching and see you soon.